Franklin from Dual Humor, and welcome to another exciting video of uh, DV Rated Duels over here. And we have Lost Connection versus Ravage 163. And let's see what the uh, ratings are. Lost Connection is a top 200 player. That's impressive. And then uh, Ravage is a top almost 500 player. That's impressive as well. So two of the best uh, in dueling books as per the rated dueling is facing off and Lost Connections got to activate Pot of Prosperity a pretty cool card um, and one of the best pot cards right now uh, used let's see what he set so he's, uh, he's uh, basically dumping three cards and um, seeing in the top three cards if there's something good for him to draw so pretty cool he is playing the Invoke Shadow most likely dogmatica with it um the classic rated duels unfortunately just the same thing over and over again i guess but let's see what their opponent's playing and the opponent's playing something like mech knights right here ravage is playing mech knights so it's pretty interesting hopefully it's gonna be an interesting duel for you guys um to watch anyway so lost connections gonna normal summon alistair he's gonna search out let me guess invocation yes invocation I'm assuming, so let's speed it up a bit. Invocation got added. He is going to link off a Alistair into uh, the uh, Magnus, the Moon Maiden. And he's going to use Invocation to summon um, Mechaba. Yes, what an interesting play. So unique. Mechaba comes up. He's going to add Invocation back to hand for the set 2, which is the call by group, and the Super Poly, and pass turn. And Ravage is going to activate Pot of Prosperity as well, so they're twinning a bit. He is going to send, uh, well, he's gonna, he's gonna have three top three cards, it is going to be the World Legacy, Mech Knight, Blue Sky, and Dark Ruler No More. He's gonna add the World Legacy Succession to hand, and he's going to activate Dark Ruler No More when there's only one monster on the field. Okay, so that Mechabuzz negate is really a hindrance to this guy's play game plan. Uh, as you can see, he's gonna uh, uh, normal summon the Grishu. He's going to send the uh, World Chalice, and he's going to get a token out of it on both sides. Uh, well, Lost Connection is about to find this connection right now by super polling both of the um, Ravage's uh, monsters. And he's going to summon Starving Venom Dragon, and hey, that's going to probably hinder uh, Ravage's game plan right now. He's going to normal summon Blue Sky, uh, which is pretty cool. He could have probably set it over here. Uh, they didn't make a difference actually um, but he's going to add purple nightfall he's going to set um, a whispers and he the lost connection is going to activate a call by the grave uh, which is actually going to be a good effect on the on the opponent because now world like world chalice's effect is gone from play so he's going to attack blue sky is going to attack the token and he's going to end turn so Two cards on the uh, CCS the section and whispers on the field, um, but Lost Connection does have the advantage. He's gonna normal summon Alistair. He's gonna get the invocation. He's gonna use wow. He's gonna use both of the Shadow cards to summon Apcolon, which is a pretty good play. Um, and now he's gonna add uh, Squamata. He's going to summon Ariel. He can activate uh, Apcolon's effect to uh, negate the, uh, a card face up on the field. Um, but I guess he chose not to or he did activate Blue Sky. I'm not too sure with that one. Um, anyway, so Ravage is going to activate Whispers, which doesn't really do a lot. It just it gains the attack, a thousand attack on the field and the fence. So it's going to make Blue Sky, uh, 3000. And it also, um, if it's in the same column as a Magnite card, the spell card would get negated. He's going to, um, can't be destroyed by battle, <laughs> which is, uh, pretty cool. Uh, Lost Connection kind of forgot that play from Apcolone, but he still takes the damage. And he's going to uh, self-destruct uh, both uh, Starving Venom and the the Blue Sky. Doesn't Starving Venom pop every card, or does it just pop all the monsters on the field? Let me just make sure. Destroy all your opponents. Okay, all your opponents. Okay, that's good to know. So he's going to attack, deal a bunch, a bunch of damage, and he's going to summon Bertha and the Count, and you know where this is going. He's going to add uh, Schism. And he's going to dump the uh, Incarnation because of Squamata right here. He is going to uh, f uh, activate Incarnation's effect to flip Ariel back. Ariel's going to special summon the Dragon. And he's going to pay 2k 
to oh okay so he's gonna summon Shadow Fusion. I'm so surprised. I was thinking it was Red Eyes Fusion in here, but he's going to have Winda on the field, uh, and it's gonna be really hard for Ravage to do anything at this point. Yes, he's gonna scoop. Uh, so game one goes to Lost Connection. Okay, so game number two, guys, and it's going to be um, Ravage going first, yeah. so two and pass. Okay, so. Not the best hand, he kind of bricked with the with the um, sight, unfortunately. So, uh, Meltdown's gonna be activated, he's going to add uh, Invoker, he already has two of them, but he wants another one. He's going to search out the Invocation, he's gonna activate Invocation, and he's gonna make, uh, uh, oh, he's gonna make, uh, wait, wait, oh, yeah, he did activate Shadal, let's go Mata here. He's gonna, he's gonna make a uh, Construct, and he's gotta play a little different because of the um, goals in match. He cannot have two of the same attributes, so it kind of hinders him a little bit here. I mean, he can't he can't use uh, he can't he only control one attribute. I'm sorry, he only can use one attribute, and he's going to have to um, send uh, what's it called uh, activate invocation to summon a window over here, uh, and Skomar's gonna dump him a dragon which pops a card which is gonna be goals in match. He's gonna attack for 3200. Set one, which is a super volley and pass. Okay, so Ravage is gonna set one and summon the purple nightfalls, Lancia, but it's gonna be met with super volley and he's gonna summon Macabre regardless, which is amazing. So, uh, basically, Lost Connections is making the, making child's work of uh, Ravage right now. It's really looking bad for him, and he's at 100 life points left. Oh my god, can Ravage pull it off? I don't know, man. He has Sanctum, but he, he has both of his. His uh, artifacts in the the set column. He's gonna summon uh, Eclipse, the movie Shifty Boy over here. He's gonna shift and troll, <laughs> and it's gonna be met with well, what? Oh, he's gonna he's gonna be met with Makaba's effect. He's gonna summon Big Boy over here, but Windows effect causes him not to be able to do it because he only can summon one special summon one time during the turn. He's gonna have to set end his turn. And he's gonna be game over for Ravage. He's gonna show off the hand. He does ha what? He does have a Sanctum card, and it's going to be another Lancia. Um, he's gonna do a hundred. Oh nope! <laughs> Lost connection, sir, with the with the super poly and to the construct. It is game over, guys. He's gonna he's gonna flash some leather. He's gonna show off a bit, and he's going to basically teabag. Uh, Ravage this time. So Lost Connection won this duel as expected from the Invoke Shadow player because who can stop that deck? Come on, man. That deck is like, like if you want to be top 100, 500 in uh, DV duels, just learn how to play Shadow Invoke apparently because that's what half the, the players are doing. Anyway, uh, if you guys really enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe for more awesome content like these because uh, it doesn't really help out the channel uh, to get discovered and uh, it motivates me to make more videos for you guys anyway franklin from do humor signing out peace guys